Now that we have a good understanding of how to bind form data and validate the form, the next step is to learn how to post the form data to a server. We are not going to discuss how to store it in the database. That's outside the scope of this course. You can take a look at the MeanStack tutorial on my channel to learn more about CRUD operations. In this video, we are going to focus on submitting the form data. The first step is to add the no validate attribute on the form tag. So no validate. This will prevent browser validation from kicking in when we click on the submit button. The next step is to bind to the ng submit event which gets emitted when the submit button is clicked. So on the form, bind to ng submit and assign a handler called on submit. Next, let's define this on submit event handler. So in app component class, on submit. And for now, let's log to the console the user model. So console.log this dot user model. Let's save this, head to the browser, open DevTools, select a topic and click on submit. You can see that the user object is logged in the console. Now to be able to send this data to a server, we need to make use of a service. So let's create a new enrollment service using the CLI. So in the terminal, control back tick, navigate inside the project folder and run the command ng g for generate, s for service and name of the service which is enrollment. The command will generate enrollment.service.ts. Over here, the first step is to import HTTP client and then inject it. So import and then in the constructor inject it. We also need to include the module in app.module.ts. So import HTTP client module and then add it to the imports array. All right, now we are in a position to make HTTP requests. Back in the service, let's add a new property called URL. This will be the URL to which we post the data. I'm going to leave it blank for now and fill it up in the next video. Next, we are going to create a method called enroll, which will make the post request. The method will accept an argument user, which is of type user. Also make sure to automatically import it. And within the body, we make our post request. This dot HTTP dot post of type any. The first argument is the URL. So this dot URL. And the second argument is the user object. Let me quickly correct this. There we go. All right. So the post request will return the response as an observable. So we need to subscribe to the observable in app component. So in app.component.ts, first import the enrollment service and then inject it. Import and then in the constructor, inject it. Now in the on submit method, we call the enroll service method and then subscribe to the observable. So instead of console log, this dot enrollment service dot enroll we pass in the user model and then we subscribe to the response so when we get valid data let's log that to the console so console dot log success and then the data if there was an error let's log that to the console as well so console dot error error and then error. Now we get a red squiggly over here. So let's go back to enrollment service and make sure to return this. So return this dot HTTP dot post. 
All right, that is pretty much the Angular side of form submission. We listen to the ng on submit event and call the on submit method. The on submit method makes a call to the enroll method passing in the user model. The on submit method makes a call to the enroll service passing in the user object. In the enroll service, we make the actual HTTP request and send the data to the server. Right now, we don't have a URL endpoint to make the request. So in the next video, let's create a simple express server that accepts a POST request from our Angular application. I'll see you guys in the next video.